Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanis. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got one of the most ridiculous, disturbing shows uh, that we produce probably ever. Uh, probably ever. But before we even get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. Let's, let's get into this topic here. You know that there are a lot of people in sports media that love them some damn LeBron James. Forget about the fans. We're talking about voices in media. You got some people like Shannon Sharp. You got some people like Nick Wright. Uh, you have other people out there that may not love him to that extent, but huge supporters like Keyshawn Johnson, uh, Chris Broussard, uh, uh, Kendrick Perkins, uh, Jay Williams. The list just goes on and on and on of all of these people that support LeBron James. But to a certain extent, you can understand media personalities and fans supporting him. But then when when it starts coming to his contemporaries and people that he plays against, the lines start to get a little bit blurry. Why? Because I can understand if you like a guy, you respect a guy, but to like overly praise him, overly kind of, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, hang out with him, party with him, especially when you guys are supposed to be rivals, it causes some people to kind of wonder like, okay, what's going on here? And if you guys do, uh, when, when, and whenever you guys do meet in, on the court and play against each other, are you giving it your all? Who are we talking about today? We're talking about one Draymond Green. As you guys know, Draymond Green plays for the Golden State Warriors, will probably most likely finish out his career with that team. And him and LeBron James have actually faced off against one another in the finals on multiple occasions, right? And there was, of course, the infamous incident between him and that incident I believe they had in game three or game four, whatever, caused Draymond Green to get suspended because he got his tag or something like that. You remember the moment. I don't remember the game specifically. But Draymond and LeBron have had a history of being rivals. But as time has gone on, Draymond Green turned into one of these huge LeBron James fans, supporters, and friends. They party together. They go to travel to different places together. I believe they were in the south of France earlier this summer. Uh, you saw, I think, Draymond Green was there. LeBron James was there. So they're big. They're big. They're buddies, right? They're buddies. And I remember there was a game between the Lakers and the Golden State Warriors. And this was when Andre Godala was still on the team. And Draymond Green is standing in front of his bench, and he's up there. Like, I mean, he goes up to LeBron and he's talking with him and laughing with him. And his teammates are just looking at him like, yo, what are you doing? And then Draymond, uh, not Draymond, Andre Godala does this, the, the, the gesture of like this or whatever while uh, Draymond is doing that. And we like, yo, son, what is wrong with you? Like, there's a game going on. You over here like laughing it up and kicking it up with the opposition. So we know that about Draymond. But then something absolutely bizarre took place over the weekend. People were sending me this image of something that Draymond Green posted on his Twitter, excuse me, on his Instagram story. And he wrote something on there about LeBron James. As I'm sitting here reading this, I'm like, yo, what who, what in the hell is this that, that I just read? So I want to show you the post here. I want to put it up for you guys. Look at this right here. This was captured by an account called Sportsville. It says, Draymond Green seems to be enjoying LeBron's Hennessy. Look at what this, look at what this dude wrote. And at the top, you can see his Draymond Green story he posted it 52 seconds ago. Yo, look at what this dude wrote. Ending my day with King with the King inside me. Son, what? Ending my day with the King inside me? What? And the comments, pe pe people couldn't believe what he wrote. Somebody wrote, said, oh, nah. He said, what? Another person said, biggest rider ever. The memes were just hilarious, right? Um, one person said, with the king inside me, it's crazy work coming from a dude. Another person said, pause. Another person said, no diddy. Uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the comments just kept on rolling, putting up people putting up glazing emojis. One person said, uh, not saying pause is why this is funnier. Uh, this is a funnier joke. Sh uh, why this is is a funnier joke shouldn't have to spell it out for people another person said uh, uh glazing of course uh, people put out somebody said all diddy <laughs> somebody said all diddy that's hilarious another person said inside bro um one person said nah he knew what he meant 
and then people just kept on going on and 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 on. Another dude said, Jigga, what? One other person said, whoa, major pause, big daddy. And people just kept on calling him out. I even show I even I even shared this post uh with my wife. I shared it to her Instagram. And she wrote back. This is really weird with the vomit and emojis. And she goes, what does this even mean? This is what we're all trying to figure out. Why would you say that? And I don't, I, I, I know Draymond knows. He must know how that sounds. And the part that kills me is you posting all of this, but LeBron never be posting you like that. This is the <laughs> this is the funny part about it. Draymond posting LeBron. LeBron will never be posting Draymond. I even sent this. I sent that picture to Gilbert Arenas. I sent it to Marshawn McCann. I sent it to Gilbert Arenas with a shake in my head emoji. He just busted out laughing. He's like, "Yo, what? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about." Like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And this is supposed to be a competitor of LeBron's. And you got a lot of Golden State Warriors fans looking at Dream. I'm like, yo, like, are you with them or are you with us? Are you playing with LeBron or are you playing with a... I get it. Draymond, I guess, views LeBron as an older brother. LeBron James is older than him. I also think Draymond is partnering him. He's, he's getting closer to LeBron. And it makes sense. You want to get next to people that are more successful than you, that are doing better than you. So you, ultimately, you are you know you would do better for yourself. It makes sense, right? Makes sense. I get all of that. If, if Draymond hanging out with LeBron James is a smart move from a, from a, from a, from a, from a business standpoint, from a so, uh, social standing standpoint, it may, I get that. I, we all get that, and it makes perfect sense. But this post right here, Talking about LeBron, I can't. Even, I think I deleted the, the. I think I deleted the post. But he wrote uh, something, something feeling good with the king. What? Hold on, let me let me read the post again. I mean, it was it was so crazy. Something talking about the with the king inside me. I'm like, yo, bro, what are you what are you even talking right uh, talking about right now? And in my day with the king, capital king inside me, bro, what? Like, yo, what is this? What kind of support is this? I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section because I don't understand what Draymond Green is talking about. Y'all help me figure it out. And yes, it's real. Because if you look close at the post, it shows, uh, what is it, Money 23 Money Green, and you see 52 seconds posted. And I went to his, story, his page to go look for it. It was gone. But that, 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 yo, whatever. I'm going to leave that to y'all. Whatever y'all think, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. we catch you on the next show.